Kitchen remodeling is one of the most desirable home improvement projects for many homeowners. A new kitchen increases the value of your home and makes your life easier. When you're ready to remodel your kitchen, here's what you should do. Determine your budget. The first step to your new kitchen is to set a budget. Decide how much money you're willing to spend. This will help drive your other decisions. Be sure to leave a cushion in your budget for additional unexpected expenses. Consider how long you intend to stay in your home. If you're planning to sell in the next year or so, you may want to spend less money. Decide which features you must have in your new kitchen. You can cut corners in other areas by substituting less expensive materials for the countertops, flooring, or cabinet doors. Research Kitchen Trends Before you start planning your remodeling project, do some research on current trends and designs being used in kitchens. Look for information on the internet or in home decorating magazines. Visit your local home improvement center for more ideas. Start a file for pictures of kitchens you love, furniture, appliances, fabric swatches, or anything else you find interesting. This will help you when you're ready to start purchasing items for your new room. Options in Kitchen Remodeling Cabinets are an expensive item in any remodeling project. They often take up half of the overall budget for the room. If you can't afford the cost of brand new cabinets, there are cheaper alternatives. Consider cabinet refacing rather than replacing the entire cabinet. In refacing, the doors are replaced and exterior wood areas are covered. This is much less expensive since you're reusing the same cabinets. An even cheaper alternative is to paint your existing cabinets and buy new hardware. If you must have new cabinets, consider adding some extra features. Features such as tilt-out drawers, pull-out garbage cans, or a lazy Susan inside a corner cabinet are great space savers and make the room more functional. The doors can be either solid wood, clear glass, or stained glass. Shop around to find out what's available before making a purchase. You can save money on flooring and countertops as well. Substitute vinyl flooring in place of more expensive ceramic tile to save money. If you can install ceramic tiles yourself, you can have them for about the price you would pay a contractor to install vinyl flooring. Countertops vary widely in price depending on the material that's used. Counters that are more durable are also more expensive. You may want this if you want to be able to cut food directly on your counter. For most people, this is an easy way to cut the overall cost of your kitchen. You can find less expensive material that gives the same look of marble, butcher's block, or other high-end materials. Once you've decided what you want, consider how much of the job you can do yourself. Contractors can eat up a large portion of your budget. The more you can do, the more you will save in the overall cost of the room. Use the savings for great new furniture instead. Don't forget to like and share our video and subscribe to this channel.